What's up, everyone? Welcome back. All right, so getting started here and all that good shit. Nice. Fucking strike right off the bat. Fucking dude is on a roll with a fucking turkey over here. <laughs> fucking legit. This might work. Yeah, not bad. Alright, this might be a little tough, but we'll see if I can nail this last one. Yep, perfection. Nice. Fucking nice. Speaking of perfection, that was fucking sweet. Yep, very nice indeed. Yeah, so anyway, uh, yesterday, uh, one of my buddies at work, um, me and him, we, we kind of, we like some of the same music and shit, so we get along pretty well. Um, he uh, just recently got back from his uh, boot camp training for like the army or something. It was like the army or the national guard or something. I don't I don't really know to be honest. Um, but yeah, so he just got back recently. So he's working again at the restaurants. Uh, he's another host just like me. So we always talked about you know like moving down to Tennessee and like opening our own bar slash like venue where you know we could have bands play and shit. You know, like some kick-ass metal and shit like that. Because as you guys know, I'm a total metalhead. Although, that being said, you know, I might be a metalhead, but I will admit I do have a couple of guilty pleasures. Like, believe it or not, actually 80s pop music. I will listen to some 80s pop music. That is one of my guilty pleasures. My other one is actually J-pop rock. Some J-pop rock. Again, not all of it, but some of that stuff is actually pretty good. Again, I consider myself to be a true connoisseur of rock music, so I listen to, like, all kinds. Even, like, 80s pop rock, you know, shit like that. <gasps> you fucking whore. How did you miss? Son of a bitch. But, yeah, anyway, uh, so yesterday he was, like, making out the floor plan for, like, our fucking, uh, you know, restaurant slash, or, you know, basically bar slash venue. Um, so, like, for the bar, you know, he made it pretty simple, um, you know, pretty simple layout and shit, but, yeah, he was, like, making the layouts for it and shit, uh, for, how, like, how it would go. So, first of all, when you get it, you know, at the door, we have this big-ass, you know, bouncer named Brutus, apparently, <laughs> which is awesome. He told me that, he's like, so we got this, like, big-ass, like, fucking dude named Brutus as our bouncer. And I'm just like, nice. <laughs> fucking nice. That was a nice touch that his name is Brutus, you know. So we got fucking Brutus up there, fucking, um, uh, as our bouncer. Um, and so, uh, we have him as our bouncer, and then, you know, the, the bar is a pretty, you know, standard layout. And then it has a hallway that leads to the concert venue. And in between the hallway, there's a ticket guy, so you got to have tickets in order to get in there. So we have that hallway that leads to the other building, which is the uh, which is the concert venue. And it is an indoor building. It's not super huge, you know. It's not like an amphitheater or anything like that, but you know, it's it's decent enough size. And then uh, the other side that has the stage has a, is two stories. The first story is the actual stage and shit. And then on the upper level, we have, like, you know, dressing rooms for the bands and shit. Um, I believe, like he said, like a green room or something like that. Um, and then we have, like, a storage space where we have all the speakers. And he's like, and then on the side, we're going to sell some fucking cocaine, right? And I'm just like, God damn it, dude. And he's like, no, no, seriously, man. We, we'll, like, in the storage room, he's like, we'll get, like, a busted up speaker and shit and just hide all the cocaine in a fucking speaker and shit and just sell fucking cocaine <laughs> and i'm just like dude god damn it i mean obviously he's joking you know no, neither one of us really does drugs that much i mean he does a little bit of you know tobacco here and there but um none of us uh, neither one of us really is into like hardcore drugs or any of that shit you know i'll i'll have an alcoholic beverage occasionally you know 
Usually it's not enough to get me, like, drunk or even really buzzed. And how the shit-ass fuck did I miss that? That was... That was complete and utter motherfucking-ass bullshit. But yeah, he's like, yeah, we'll just hide all the cocaine in, one, in like, a busted-up speaker in the, uh... In the storage thing, and no one will ever know. <laughs> I'm just like, God damn it, that's amazing. But yeah, he's just like, we have this big bouncer guy named Brutus just standing up front. Because, yeah, I've always wanted to, you know, if I ever have a bar, I'm definitely having a bouncer. That way, in case there's ever a bar fight, you know, you can kick some ass. Toss some people out, somewhat literally. That being said, if there is ever a large-scale, like... You know, bar fight, like an entire just all-out brawl in the bar. I would definitely want to take part in that. You know, like grab a pool stick and just start bashing people's fucking heads in. Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> Be awesome. So, yeah, we were, we were kind of talking about that uh, yesterday. So, that was kind of fun. Just like having <laughs> cocaine and a busted-up speaker in the storage space. No one will ever know. We'll just sell a little cocaine on the side. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny shit. Yeah, that kid does have a sense of humor, I gotta say. I've even considered maybe having him on the show here sometime, but... I've never actually told him that I was a YouTuber, so he doesn't know about that, but still. Um, then again, I haven't really told anyone in my real life that I'm a YouTuber. Not even my dad knows. The only person who... There's only, like... I want to say three people in the entire world who actually know that I am a YouTuber and only one person who actually knows what my YouTube channel is called. Um, my mom and my brother know that I am a YouTuber. Nice throw. Um, actually, um, my brother's girlfriend, I'm pretty sure, knows as well. And then my sister and her boyfriend, they know that I'm a YouTuber as well. Um... And then uh, my mom does as well. But those are the only people in the entire world who actually know that I'm a YouTuber. And the only person who actually knows the name of my YouTube channel is my sister. She was actually kind of the one who helped me kind of create it back in the day because I was a very young kid. I think I was in... I want to say when I first created this YouTube channel, it was back in 2011... I uploaded a video back in 2011 and then never really touched this YouTube channel since. I was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. You know, I uploaded a... It was a Wii Music video of me uh, just, you know, doing some Wii Music and shit like that. And then uh, never really looked at this YouTube channel since. But then in my sophomore year of uh, high school, I had an idea. I'm like, why don't I start uploading videos to this YouTube channel of mine? I mean, I have my YouTube channel just sitting there. I only ever uploaded the one video. I'm like, why don't I start uploading videos regularly, just for fun, see how it goes. And here I am, fucking seven, like, seven or eight years later now? I don't even remember. I, I, yeah, don't even remember. I think it's been eight years now. Fucking eight years later. Here I am, still going at it. I mean, goddamn. That is, uh, that is really something. Gotta say. Uh -uh. So I kind of officially consider the birth of my YouTube channel to be February 1st, 2013, because that was when I uh, first decided to really start uploading videos regularly to this YouTube channel. I really decided to start making this YouTube channel a reality uh, back in, wow, that sucked ass, uh, back in 2013 in my sophomore year. Wow, dude still did really good though, despite that last frame kind of sucking ass, but yeah, not bad. Um... But yeah, back in 2013 was when I really decided to start uploading videos, and God, never would have imagined that it would have turned into what it has now. It's basically my entire way of life now, and I love every goddamn second of it. It's awesome. Nice, so, gotta say, I've really enjoyed this journey on my on my uh, YouTube channel. Hard to believe that it's already been fucking, God, fucking eight years. God damn. You know, a lot's happened in the last eight years, but I gotta say, this YouTube channel has been the one constant in my life throughout these last eight years, and it's been the one thing that has, you know, helped me through some of the hardest times in my life, so I gotta say, I I fucking loved it. Oh, man, that was a hell of a strike. Oh, that was awesome. 
Man, that was sweet. But yeah, I just, I have loved every second of, you know, doing this for you guys, making these videos for you guys. I've gotten the chance to, because of this YouTube channel, I've gotten the chance to play so many fun and unique games for you guys. It was the motivation for me to buy so many games to try, was to show them off on this YouTube channel, you know? Get my first time reaction to playing games for the first time. It's one of my favorite things to do on this YouTube channel, is play games for the first time and get my first time reactions and shit. I love it. It's awesome. So... Um, it's been the inspiration for me to continue on with my gaming, you know, as a gamer, and it's been awesome. I gotta say, it's been a really awesome experience overall. It's had its ups and downs over the years, but again, for the most part, it's been an absolutely amazing experience, and I have loved every second of it. Nice, fair. Ah, oh, man. Yep, some stupid kid, eight years ago. Had a fucking idea to start a YouTube channel. Or rather, to start uploading videos on his YouTube channel. Because again, back in 2011, I did upload one video and then never really came back to this YouTube channel after that. But then I decided, again, in 2013, I had that idea of, hey, why don't I actually start doing something with this YouTube channel? Which is why, again, I consider the true birth of this YouTube channel to be February 1st, 2013. Because again, I uploaded my first video technically in 2011, but... Still, I consider this to be, you know, my, uh, I, I consider February 1st to be my true, like, the true birth of this YouTube channel, which is why I consider that to be my, you know, YouTube anniversary date, so to speak. So, yeah, it's, uh, man, it's been a wild ride, though, I gotta say. I never thought this YouTube channel would turn into what it has, and I'm glad that it has turned into what it has, because it's been... Fucking amazing. Gotta say, truly, truly fucking amazing. Alright. So, how about that dude with another fucking victory? Taking it with 220 this time. Roxanne in second with a solid score of 181. Personal record for her. Man Woman rounding out in third with 174. And Josh bringing up the rear with 171. Still a pretty goddamn solid score, I gotta say. Very nice. Alright, well, either way, guys... That will do it for that one. Stay tuned for the next round of bowling. The next game is probably going to be the last one that I do for today, but it's still going to be awesome. All right, either way, folks, stay tuned, and until then, peace out.